In this problem, we're being asked to translate the graph of an absolute value function, and we've got a couple of steps to carry out here. I've graphed here just the basic function, y equals absolute value of x, and so we can sort of grab this thing and move it around according to how we need to translate this. The rule for these kinds of vertical and horizontal translations, which is what you're seeing here, um, is that when a number is added uh, inside the absolute value symbol, uh, if it's positive, you move it left that many spaces. If it's negative, you move it right. So we need to go right for spaces. And then if there's a number outside the absolute value symbol, positive means up and negative means down. So we need to go down two spaces. So let's let's go ahead and do that. Let's move right four spaces first. So one, two, three, four. So that's four to the right. And then let's move down two, one, two. Okay. Now that should be the correct translation, but let's check it. Let's look at the vertex. The vertex is now at the point four, negative two. Let's see if this number checks out in our equation. Let's put in negative two for y and four for x. So negative four minus four is zero. The absolute value of zero is zero. So we just get negative two equals zero minus two. Well, that's negative two equals negative two. That checks out. So that is the correct translation. So that is how to translate the graph of an absolute value function.